Hello guys, Mark here. I hope you are well. In today's video, I'm going to show you a weaving technique which I really like. This one is called the Gemini. The technique is very adaptable since it is both reversible, so you can use it on either side with a different pattern. You can also make it as wide as you want. So it is a very versatile, yet simple and easy technique to learn. Here you can see two examples of the Gemini. The one on the right is the original version done with a doubled core. So this one has four strands through which we weave our technique. The one on the left is narrower and it is done using a single core. So this one has two strands as the core. This one on the left is more useful for bracelets, while the one on the right can also be used for belts. The technique as I've mentioned is reversible. So you can use either side of the technique and each has its own look. So this is the top side and this is the bottom. And in the narrow version, again the top and bottom. I'm first going to show you how to set up the weave. I'm going to be using a bracelet jig just to hold everything in place. It is not absolutely needed, but it does come in handy. I'm going to take a bracelet buckle, in my case 5 eighths of an inch in width. So a 5 8 inch bracelet buckle. I'm going to place one end onto the top side and the other one onto the bottom side. I'm going to take a piece of cord and fold it in half. Then I'm going to feed this bite through the top part of the buckle. So like this. Now it's not attached, it's just placed through the top part of the buckle. At the bottom, I'm now going to tie two cow hitches, one with each end that I'm going to be using. So first the right end, goes through the top of your buckle like this. Then I travel to the left side of my cord, pass over it, travel under and through my buckle like this and finally through this loop like this. Tighten up and we have done one cow hatch. Now Take the other end and repeat the process. So we travel through our buckle, like this, 
on to the right side of my cord, then pass over it like this. Using your end, pass under and through your buckle, like this, then travel through the loop. Tighten up and you have two cow hatches at the bottom. Move to the top, unhook this bite, take your right end, Place it top down through the buckle. Like this. Then under and through the bite. Like this. Pass over your cord. under and through your buckle, and finally through the loop. And again we have a cow hatch. Take the other end, Again pass top down through your buckle, then under and through the bite, like this, pass over the top, over your cord, Then under and through your buckle. And finally through the loop. And this again creates a cow hatch. I'm going to continue by removing my slack out of the bite. Like this, and out out of one of the working hands. And this is my setup. It's going to work great for a bracelet. As you can see, we have two cow hitches at the bottom and two cow hitches at the top. We can now begin our weaving. To weave the Gemini, pick up your right strand and pass under four, under the four middle strands. Take your left strand, pass over the first strand, and down. So down here. Then back up, in front of the first strand. So like this. Tighten up a little bit, 
then pass over the second strand and again down, then up in between the first and second strand. So here. Like this, and tighten up a little bit. Then pass over the third strand down here. So down, then up in between the second and third strand. So up here. Like this. Tighten up a little bit. Then pass over the fourth strand. So over it. Then under and through in between the third and fourth strand. So up through here. Like this. And tighten up. Finally, pass over again. Then under this loop or bite on the right side. Like this. Then tighten up. And this is what you should have. Pull on this left strand, then tighten up each of the loops. Like this. And this is one row completed. The second row is done exactly the same way. We start with the right chord, pass under 4, like this. Take the left hand, pass over your first strand and down, like this. Then back up in front of your first strand. Like this and slightly tighten up. Then pass over the second strand. So over and down, then up in between the first and second strand. So here. Then over the third strand and down. And up in between the second and third strand. So up here. Like this. Then over 
the fourth strand and down then up in between the third and fourth strand like this finally Pass over again, then under and through this bite or loop, like this. Pull on this left strand, then retighten all of the loops. Like this. And this is the second row complete. Let's do one more row just to show you how fast you can do this. So it takes about a minute per row, after you reach the other part of the buckle using your Gemini weave, it is time to finish it off. So here I'm going to show you the simplest way that I know of. You take a lacing needle or you take something to spread apart this bottom part here. Then you simply feed the two ends through like this. You work everything tight and then you can trim and melt the two ends and with that you're pretty much done. So guys that's it for my presentation of the Gemini weaving technique. I hope that you enjoyed the tutorial and that I made things clear enough. Thank you for joining me and see you next time.